Hello everyone, it is Teacher Marianne here from HelloTeacherMarianne.com and on this channel you'll find videos all about earning an income from home by teaching online where I'm bringing to you valuable tips, insight, and need to know information. Okay, this video is by request and it is going to be how I show you how to make simple Google Slides for your OutSchool classes. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and take you to my Google. So what you're going to do, I'll just actually go ahead and um, take you, let me go ahead and just, up. Oh. Sorry about that, guys. So let me go ahead and just uh, share that screen again so I can take you um, right to the uh, actual, um, Okay, let me pull it up again. <laughs> One thing about sharing your screen is you've got to make sure that whatever browser you wanna share or anything else is already pulled up in the background and I accidentally closed it just now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and now share my screen to Google. Okay, so you can see here is my uh, Google screen and I'm going to go to my dots in the top right and click Drive and that goes to my Google Drive. I'm going to click Google Slides, blank presentation. So I'm going to make this new presentation. I always, um, my kind of signature presentations for OutSchool are all on this template and I like this template. Uh, this is going to make uh, be make, let's see, what words do I have? I think they're um, am words, make am words. And so I'm just going to make a title page real quick here. And this is uh, make am words, teacher Marianne. That's going to be my title page. Then I'm going to click up here in this top left where the plus is. And you can add a slide. And you can see I just chose the blank slide. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out my templates over here on the right. And then uh, one thing I want to tell you, what I do is I typically make all of my letters in Canva. So I love Canva. There is a free version of Canva where you can make all kinds of things. There are lots of free pictures and, and you can do different things in there. Um, I do go ahead and pay for the, the paid version because I use Canva so often in all of my uh, creation content creation, whether it's for classes or YouTube or my Facebook group um, or whatever. So I definitely think Canva is worth it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead because I have AM words recently saved. I'm going to go ahead and click insert image and I have them, um, all of these words saved um, as pictures. So let me find that folder. Oh, it's going to be letter cards. All right, so here we go. So let me see, I'm gonna go ahead and just um, select all of these letter cards that I've made. And one by one, I'm going to um, crop these letter cards, okay? So where did my crop? go. Oh, here we go. So when you, you want to, so this Google slide, I teach an ongoing phonics class. And so right now I am averaging about between 50 to 60 students a week in that ongoing phonics class because I run several sections of it. And so I'm just going to show you kind of what I do in the, um, and this is just one of many, but if I show you one, you'll, you'll get uh, lots of ideas, I'm sure. Um, okay, so what you wanna do is crop. You wanna drag the black portion of that, and then you wanna um, and get that down to just the size of the letter, and then you wanna click outside of that frame, and then you can click the blue and size down. Um, otherwise, that can get really tricky if you start moving around the black 
um, box before it's ready to be uh, moved around because it's not cropped all the way. So just remember when you crop to get all of the extra white out of the picture, you, you're going to drag the black lines, that's your crop. Then you're going to click out of the black lines to make them disappear and shrink down using the blue box. So you can see I'm just kind of shrinking them all down, crop with the black, oh, see, I didn't drag a black line, I accidentally got a blue line and it messed me up. So let me um, crop with the black lines and drag this one crop okay now click outside of that and shrink down my j there we go that's pretty good all right let me crop this i should have just done a couple of letters i did not have to do all of these but i'll just go ahead and show you all right let's now let's click out of that and shrink down that h okay and you know i'm just i think i'm just going to delete the b there we go, that's plenty. And then let me go ahead and crop my M uh, blend. Okay, so that's cropped, click out of it. And I'm actually going to leave that pretty big. So what I, I'm going to do is, this is going to be my first screen. Now something, this is not a drag and drop, um, what I have found is that drag and drop is, it works um, if I have to, as the teacher, do the dragging and dropping. So I feel like I have experimented with drag and drop and um, I feel like because of the age group that I teach regularly, which is the four to seven year olds, um, so like right now, that's my most popular class. So that's what I'm teaching a lot of. And so I definitely feel like the um, drag and drop is not the most helpful. I feel like it's more fun for the students to do what I'm going to show you, which is just a click animation, but I'll show you how that works. So this is going to be the very first slide. I'm going to um, make that am big and what I'm going to do, and I can also put a background here. I can make that background any color I want to make it. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show the students, um, you know, okay guys, remember now by this point, we would have we gone over the am, we would have gone over that blend, written that blend together in the air several times and done a few other activities. Um, I always create a worksheet through Canva for all my classes and, um, and have that uploaded before class so the parents can print that out and that sort of thing. So, um, I, they are familiar with AM, so I would go ahead and say, okay, now here's our AM blend. I'm going to, um, we're going to practice putting letters in front of AM and make new words. I need your help. I need you to make some words, you know, that sort of thing. Um, I actually am going to leave my background white though, because of my um, letter cards are white. I'm going to leave it white. So this is just going to be my kind of introduction. Here's what we do. So now I'm going to start creating the actual um, meat to this lesson. So what I'm going to do is just uh, go click on this slide on the left and I'm going to duplicate duplicate slide okay and then what I'm going to do is shrink this am down just a little and drag it down here because I want room for a picture and then I'm going to start with the first the first letter and normally I would actually have these letters in alphabetical order I didn't pay attention to that but um, so here's what I'm going to do. We're gonna make our first word, okay? Now what I want is I just wanna be able to click on the slide and that H appear. So I'm gonna right click this H and choose animate. And the automatic option that comes up for me is the letter will fade in on click. So I'm just gonna press enter because that's what I want. And then the next thing I'm going to do is insert an image. So I'm going to go up here to the top and click insert image. I'm going to just search the web. I don't have any of these images saved on this computer. So I'm just going to search the web for ham. 
and let me find a ham that I want here. The, uh, hmm, I don't love any of these ham pictures. Uh, let's see. It's funny because you can search um, at different times and find different pictures. All right, I'm just going to choose this right here. I'm going to choose that ham. So that's going to um, show up right there. I'm going to click right here. I, I leave this um, little uh, side window open at all times because I'm constantly adding animation. I'm going to add animation, but this time I don't want it to fade in on my click. I want it to fly in from the left. So I'll show you what that looks like. So let's go ahead and Oh, fly in from the left, got it. Let's go ahead and show you what that looks like. So the, here's the slide. So when I do my first click, I'm going to, my H is going to pop up, then we're gonna practice saying that word. And I'm going to tell the children, let's see if you're right. What will we see? You know, something like that. And then my ham will fly in, okay? So then to do another slide, I'm simply going to go to this slide now, that one I just did. I'm going to duplicate that slide. And in, I'm going to, um, shrink my H back down to about the size of the others, put it back in its place. Now, when I move my H over here, I have to um, delete the animation because if not, then when I click on, when I do my first click, even though the H is back over here on the left, it's still going to be the letter that appears because I, I didn't delete animation on the H. So now I'm gonna drag the Y and I'm gonna just kind of make that a, a proportionate. Let's see, that'll work. Uh, it's a little small, let's see, we'll do that. I don't wanna cut my Y off. I could move my M up a little bit right there, but you can see how. Okay, so let me add animation to this. And so I'm just going to, um, click on that, add animation. I want it to fade in on my click. And then here, I wanna change the picture. Now, because you've already got animation set up for this picture, you can just go here and hit replace image, search the web. So I'm going to search uh, the web for a yam. Now, uh, sometimes replace picture works and sometimes it doesn't. It really depends on the, size of the new picture. So we'll see, oh, that one worked fine. So I'm gonna shrink it just a little. And there's already animation on that picture because I just replaced it. However, if you notice when I press play, it's it, my first click, it's gonna be the picture because that's what's first up here. And then my second click is gonna be the Y and I want it in reverse. So all I have to do is go to these um, animation descriptions and I just drag this one that's on the bottom to the top. Now let me try. Click. Here's my Y first and there's my M. Perfect. Okay and then I would just continue making slides that way um, just by simply duplicating duplicate slide, and then I would, again, just change my letters around, and then I just drag my letters, do one more here. All right, so J, M, I want animation on, oh, I'm gonna delete that Y animation, and I'm going to add animation for my J. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it in the right order so the J is what appears first. And I'm going to right click on the yam and hit replace image, search the web, and let me find jam. And let's see if I can find a cute jar of jam. Let's see. Uh, let's see if that one will work. And up. All right, see that didn't really work because the proportions of the picture was different. It doesn't fit in that box. So when that happens, all you have to do is delete the picture and just start from scratch by upload an image, search the web, 
um, I'm looking for jam and let me just choose any old jar for time's sake and I'm going to add the animation to that jam and I don't want it to fade in I want it to fly in from the left now let me click play and see if it works there we go that's what I want it to do and then I would just continue to duplicate slides until we went through all of our am words now you're going to just title this presentation um, and I'm just going to title it um, YouTube am words <laughs> to know that this is not the one I want to pull up for my actual class and uh, that's it and then just go to Google Slides anytime you want to make a different presentation. I'm just going to go through. I will show you. Um, I also um, have a rhyming words. So let's say this is one of the um, presentations that I do for rhyming words. And um, you can use your pointer when you're in this mode and so I would use my pointer and we would sound out I always just move the students to the middle of the words and I, we would sound out the the red and then the picture would come up then we would sound out the bed and the picture would come up and these come up after my clicks so I have them in the right order clickable order and then on my last click I, I would ask the students guys do these words rhyme do these words sound the same yes so do these words rhyme yes let's see do these words rhyme and then yes they rhyme so that's one of the other um, little Google Slides activities that we do um, and then we also do let me find um, let's see there we also do like a sorting chart so we would literally this is just a one slide um, oh, and you cannot do this one in presentation mode. So I would leave this out of presentation mode. And this one is an example of how I would drag and drop because you can't drag and drop if you're in presentation mode. So I literally just make this chart. I use this line up here so you can click line and you can literally drag a line wherever you want. And so that's how I um, made that line line and then just added my text up here and then we would I would just this would be an individual turn where I would call on a student I would put the picture in the middle and say hmm do you know what this is yes this is fog let's listen ig og fog hmm what sound do you hear? Yes, og. So we would just sort the pictures that way. So again, this is just, you can look over here to the left and see that's literally just one slide. So after in this ongoing class, after we've done several blends, then we will start to sort the pictures by the sound that they hear. So um, yeah, so that is just the very simple Google Slides. Um, presentation that that I do in my classes and I hope that this is helpful for you um, just let me know in the uh, comments if you would like to um, go ha have any any more detail I'm trying to um, think of what I want to say or get what I want to say out if you want me to go into more detail about um, these particular presentations. Um, I will certainly be happy to do that. I figured that if I showed you that one basic one, which is just really adding your uh, pictures to the presentation and how to add that animation in, um, then you that would give you a starting point. I am probably the least tech savvy person I know. And so if I can make these Google Slides, I know that anyone can. Okay, guys, so just remember you can do it. It might change your life, teaching online that is. And I am your biggest cheerleader. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.